Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can make our cart empty once we place the order. So we worked on cart related functionality in the last session itself and in the previous session also. Now today in this session, we are going to work on one defect which is present in our application. So this particular defect is basically raised by one of our subscriber, uh, Zakaria Hamad. So I really appreciate the Zakaria uh, Ahmed's efforts, like the way he um, raised the defect and also he shared us uh, the pictures, like what is the happening exactly, what is the issue which is present in the application. So he shared uh, images as well. So these particular images really helped us to uh, like uh, to find out bugs, find out defects in our application and we are able to like get what is happening exactly. So as shared in the images, you can see that we are able to add duplicate products into the cart and that is the reason uh, we are um, getting some issues on the billing section as well. So if you see in this particular image, we are getting some uh, duplicate carts. Like if you just see for this uh, Poco F3 Pro, so we are getting four, uh, four to five different entries over here, right? But uh, we don't want this. We don't want to allow to add duplicate uh, products in inside a card. So what we are going to do is in this session, we are going to see how we can uh, like um, how we can uh, add the constraint, how we can add the condition so that uh, user ca user will not be able to add a duplicate products into a card. So we are going to add that check into our application. So again, uh, I'm just uh, thanking you um, Zachary Ahmed for your efforts. And I really appreciate the way that you shared the document or the images with uh, us. So it helped us to like track the uh, defect on the spot. So if I just go back to the application, now if I just go to the cart, then over here, I am able, I'm able to see like we have the product combo one, then product combo one over here, and we have the duplicate products inside a cart. Now, if I just go to the checkout, then on the billing section, then yes, this is what definitely happens because we have duplicate products. Now let's, let me just try to change the quantity for very first product. Let me just try to make it as a three. So if you just like make it as a three, then um, it will like wherever product uh, com uh, pending combo one is present, then it will like um, change the quantity for all these rows. So over here also quantity is getting changed. Over here also quantity is getting changed. Similarly, let me just change the quantity for this. Let me make it as a three. Now quantity is changed over here as well. So this is the on this is only because of we are allowing the duplicate products. So now let's see how we can ban the duplicate products. So again, um, it is a, not a big issue. What we have to do is we have to just go back to the IntelliJ. And first of all, let me just try to uh, do one thing. Let me just try to find out the API which we are using to add product inside a cart. So let me just click on the view product and let me just click on add to cart button. Now this is the API that we are using to add product inside a cart. So let me just go to the headers and over here we have the API that is add to cart API, something like this. Now let me just find out this particular API where it is present exactly. So in IntelliJ, you have to press shift two times to find out any particular method or any particular uh, line. So what you can just do, uh, you can just put, uh, you can just place, uh, press shift for two times and this particular window will get open and you can just try to find it out. So over here, we are not able to find it as now. Maybe you can just find out like, yes, we are able to find like cart controller method. Let me just open it. And then um, let me just go to the cart service dot add to cart method. Inside this, what we are doing, first of all, we are just first of all fetching all the product details and then we are fetching the username and uh, then we are just fetching the user details by using the username and then we are just creating object of cart and then we are just saving that object into the database, right? But before saving the object into a database, what we want is we just want to check whether that particular product is already present into a cart or not. If it is present, then we will not we will not add that product into a cart. If it is not present, then only we will add that product into a cart. So before 
this particular if condition what i'm going to do is i'm just going to uh, add the logic so over here we have the product details we have the username right and if i just go to the cart dao previously we created one method which returns us list of cart items by the user id or by the user object right so we can just use this particular uh, method again if it is not created in your dao you can just create you can just write this particular line and it will get automatically created and again condition is if you are following my series then only it will work if you have any different naming conventions you have to give your names over here now what i will just do is i will just do one thing i'll just make it as a cart dao dot find by user and i'll just pass my user over here something like this now it will return me list of cart items so let me just store it into a list of cart and let me just make it as a cart list is equals to something like this now now in this cart list we will get all the products which are added into this um, users cart so we want to filter out we want to just check whether this particular product is present into a into this particular list or not so how we can check it we can just use cart list we are going to use stream api and then if you just want to uh, see uh, or learn more about stream api you can just check out this particular session by clicking over here then we can just do one thing stream then we can just uh, use filter and inside the filter we can just add one um, like uh, expression so we can just make it as x dot get product dot get product id is equals to and we can just use this particular product dot get product id or we have directly product id over here so we can just use that product id something like this and then we can just collect it as a list so let me just make it as a collect dot to list something like this now it is going to return us a filtered list so let me just make it as a list of cart filtered list something like this now what we want we just want to check whether size of filtered list is if filtered list dot size if it is greater than zero then we just want to return null something like this so if this particular filtered list contains some data or if the size is greater than zero then it means that this particular product is already present into this um, cart if size is zero then we are going to like we are we are going to add the product into our um, a database something like this now let me just save these changes and let me just start the application let's see what happens whether we are able to achieve what we want or not so as of now i'm not going to work on any kind of alerts or maybe any kind of um, like um, uh, ui related changes i'm just going to um, add the condition at the back end only ui related aspects we will see later but as of now uh, the important thing is to add the constraint from the back end itself now let me refresh the application now let me just go to the cart as of now i i have to check this out because um, this is existing data so let me just place the order as of now something like this and let me just place it order and order is get order is placed now let me just come to home back uh, home page now let me just try to add duplicate products so let me just try to um, add this painting combo one and let me just try to try to click on add to cart button as of now obviously we are we don't have any alerts and all so we will not be able to see anything but if i just go to the cart then yes this particular product is added now again let me come back to the home page and now let me just come back to the same product and let me just try to click on add product and now let me just go to the cart let's see let me just refresh it yes now duplicate products are not getting added into the cart now let me just go back and let me just try to add some different product let me click on add to cart button and let me come back to the cart yes now we are uh, able to add uh, like painting combo 2 but over here we have only distinct uh, like different products we don't have the duplicate products that means our defect is resolved and it is working as expected 
if I click on checkout, then we are able to see like painting combo one, painting combo two, and we are able to select the quantity as well, and we are able to calculate the uh, total and grand total as well. So um, yes, so our defect is uh, defect got resolved, and uh, it is like basically it is basically simple. It is just to add a condition to uh, check whether product is already present into a cart or not. If it is present, then we are not going to add that product into a cart. If it is not present, then we will add straight forward that product into a cart. So I hope you got an idea like uh, how we can re resolve this particular defect. So uh, I hope you got an idea like how we can add the condition at the back end to uh, not to allow duplicate products into a cart. If you still have any questions, let me know into a comment section and I will try my best to help you out in that case. And I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you in the next session.